This video, I highlight what I consider to be the best of show for what I was looking for and some of the unique rigs at this RV show. This is my favorite layout. Class C, separate wet bath, Yeah. Is it a slide out? This is the slide out. Yeah. The unit that's uh, behind the, the other one that's over here is basically the same same paint, just that the uh, slide out is on the bed. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah this is, I, I like this better. Yeah, yeah. For sure. You have more room to cook. You can, uh, uh, when you're sleeping, you're sleeping. You don't need that much room. Yeah. 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 The paint is only 22. Really? 22 feet. And how much is this one? Okay, thank you. That's really you good. have 5,000 pound towing capacity. So it's the one ton three Chevy. This is the six liter. Six liter? Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Thank you. I really like this style. The Jayco. Shit, I gotta learn how to use this thing. The Jayco Red Hawk 22 foot. I see. It's a toy hauler with a backyard. This is called the backyard. It's like a little patio that extends from the outs to the outside. And you can, these seats pop up and you can put your toys in here. This is great for people, as a TV back here, that have a business and want to travel. Like four areas, there's the outside backyard, here's the garage, where you put your toys, the straps, motorcycles, whatever you want to put. You have a little dinette area with a kitchen, full kitchen, full size refrigerator. Seventy-four thousand dollars is the show special. L look at the lighting on this; it's pretty cool. Another sofa right here. I think that into a bed, leather, and then we go up here. You have a bedroom with a walk-around bed and. Now this is a full shower. This is like an apartment. And there's a pass through to the bedroom. See, you can pass through the bedroom right here. I'm gonna go out this door. So this is a fifth wheel slide out. And so here's where I started. Three axles. And this brand is called the Voltage. I'm telling you, this is like an apartment on wheels. It's huge. So this is the Leprechaun, 22 footer. Yeah, brand new this year. You got the big screen and the outside and the back. And the unique thing about this RV is that it has. If you were looking for something that um, it's kind of like a mix between a toy hauler. Yeah, kind of a toy hauler. Yeah. I mean, if you got, if you're taking bicycles with you. Motorcycle, even if you have a ramp. Yeah, yeah a little, a little motorcycle. Yeah. Like a little dirt bike. Yeah. And yeah, it came out this year. They introduced it in the Hershey show, and it just killed it. So, yeah. So this is a new model for this year. Check out the inside. You see how spacious it is. But this is on the uh, on the Chevy chassis. Correct. Okay. Twenty-two XG. Is it six liter? Side. So, the bed. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for you to demonstrate. We're both there. What are you doing? I was waiting for you to demonstrate the bed. How easy is it to drop down that bed? Really light. You just get out of the way it takes up the whole way. One hand. Wow. So now and you close that screen door, and you got that one. So you got nice cross ventilation. And what? And oh, oh, I see. The bed anchors bed? onto the. Oh yeah, to the side. The side there. But that's your bed. It's bigger than a little bit bigger than the queen. Yeah. And and it's easy to make if you have all the linens and stuff on it already. Yep. You don't have to fold like a lot of these classes. Yeah. When you have a slide out, they fold up, they fold over, whatever it is. You have to make the bed. Every How time. big is the shower? Uh, 
this size. <laughs> big guys like us, we need big showers. Yeah, that's the first thing I look at. Yes, you and me both. Jump in there. I won't jump in, but <laughs> I'll walk in it. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. To go in the bathroom, you can still go in the bathroom with the bed down. Right, right. Now the shower's a good size. Was it? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. And you got the cab over. And then Coachman Leprechaun is the only one that makes this J sofa right here. What's the uh, miles per gallon on this? Anything you look at is gonna be ten. Ten. Yeah. Don't yeah. let anybody else tell you more. Yeah. No, I know. Uh, unless you go diesel, you get maybe. Yeah, but the way the diesels are built now, with all the shit they put on them for the emissions. Well, not even that, dude. I always tell people, you spend 100000 on diesel, that's a, that's a hell of a lot it's of a gas. It buys a lot of gas. <laughs> this is... <laughs> We're wondering about the price. This is just a Scotia over there, 65000 And what I like about this RV, it looks like it's, it's sold. Uh, but it has... Let's see here. I can open this. It has a short wheelbase. So for one or two people, I think this layout is perfect. You know, the, the, the typical dinette here. And at the bed in the back, nice big shower. I have a walk around bed. And this must be the commode, yep. Got a toilet and sink here. And that's the front. It's a nice setup. This is a Freightliner diesel. Look at this thing. Now this is this is luxury living right here. The DynaQuest XL, it looks like. Let's take a look in here. Oh, look at these floors. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I think I'm home. I found the perfect rig. If I win the lottery, this will definitely be on my list. And the show price is only 279,000. But this is well built. You can tell quality. Someone left their laptop here. You can tell quality when you see it. And here's the bed. Yeah, great bathroom. Look at the lighting touches on the on the counter. We got LED. Yeah, this is super nice. Very spacious. I'm sorry. It's okay. You it's want not a good looking model in your picture there? Yeah, there you go. So tell me about this thing. This is the Dynamax uh, DynaQuest. Diesel? Third, yeah, diesel. It's got the big block. Cummins in a 450 horsepower, 254 pounds of torque. Wow. It's got the Allison 3200 transmission, so it can pull 20,000 pounds. So that's the claim of fame on these guys. This is the bath and a half. You know, yeah. It has a little bathroom up front. It's got the side by side washing dryer, more like you do at home with storage on top. It of has it. a half bath. I missed that. Wow. It's got the air ride suspension in the back and then the Bilstein shocks in the front. Also has the air ride seats too, so if you want to go down some real rough roads, yeah. you can set that to wherever you want. I said when I came in here, if I win the lottery, this is what I'd be getting for sure. <laughs> but I definitely have to win the lottery first. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have banks. That's why we have banks, that's right. <laughs> but thank you for the information. Okay, no it's problem. a beautiful rig. Thank you. Yeah, it's amazing. Let's slide off of the bed. So we got a Freightliner, and the color is silver. It's the Dynamax. What a beautiful rig. Luxury living, I like that tribal design too. It's based on the teardrop platform. It has a kitchen in the back. It's like a 
like a little tomb. Just a little bit bigger than a coffin. <laughs> you could be buried in this. That's right. kitchen and back as red cameras. Look at this. Auxiliary has a solar panel on top, 100 watt. Oh, it's a flexible solar. Flexible solar. Rhino rack. Can we see the kitchen? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well done. The finishes. Thank you. You built these yourself? Uh, not me. We built them out in Alhambra. Okay. So made in USA. Yep. All made in the USA. How much to go for? Southern California. This is our top of the line. Goes for uh, nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety-five. Right now, during the RV show, uh, we have a thousand off on it, so you'll save a thousand. Uh, you can serve water. You actually use the water that you're going to use. There it is. Oh, okay. So, also that's with the uh, one point six gallon tank, yeah. one point six gallon fresh water behind it. Very easy to dump. Very easy. To the house batteries here. It's a travel trailer, but this has the, by far the biggest window I've ever seen of a pool travel trailer. And it's only, they have a few different models. They got music. You imagine if you are boondocking somewhere and this is the, sitting here having breakfast and this is the ocean out here, or I mean, it's pretty nice. And this dinette makes into a bed. Let's take a look at the back. Oh, wow. Let me see if I can fit in it. Yep, I can fit in it. Not a great fit, but it's definitely more spacious than in my van. It looks like it's well built. Look at that window. Wow, I just want to show this one because this has got a beautiful, beautiful window. What does this thing cost? Thirty-four thousand. Yeesh. There's a different layout here, but I'm really liking this this bay window, whatever they call it. This. This is nice. I know. I know. It's super nice. It's called Dawn. You can find them at EntertechRV.com. Got a great profile. Looks like it's solidly built, and it's just one axle. So it probably weighs 3,000 pounds, if that, 3,500 loaded. You can almost pull this with anything. Very nice.